morning. Oh, happy day. I hope you're doing insanely well. I want to ask you a simple question. How do you start your mornings? How do you start your mornings? Put it in the comments. Curious. How you get up every day may be the difference between you making it or breaking it in a bad way to your friends and your family that you weren't able to attain success this week or today. This industry chews up and spits out so many insurance agents because they don't start off their mornings in the right fashion. So I want to give you this content today because mornings stink and matter. If you want to find success, you've got to start your mornings intentionally. It's all about the power of routines. And before you really even open up your eyeballs, are you prepared to engage with your day, with your week, and win? You've got to be in a mindset of winning, but that starts in how you get out of your bed. And if you want to be a beast, first off, you don't stay in bed, but you've got to rest. So when you start your day, when you open up your eyeballs, what are you engaging with in your mind? What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about positive powerful things? Or are you putting your hands on the income reduction button? Yeah, I said it, the income reduction button. Are you hitting your little, okay, button on that little clock and you're wondering why you're getting clocked every day? You cannot hit the income reduction button. The snooze alarm, for those of you that don't know what I'm speaking to, the snooze button is going to take you out and put you into slavery where you're working for a W-2. If you want to be independent, if you want to have the chance, the chance of being just amazingly free and have unlimited income potential, this is how you start your day. When you wake up, you will be in a place where you realize this is a privilege. It is a privilege to be an insurance agent, to get to have the a privilege to put your clothes on today, to get the privilege of being able to put your feet on the floor and find yourself helping others as a life insurance agent. Not a lot of people can be you. Not everybody can pass that test. So you've got to get yourself into a mindset where you get to get on the phones today. You get to go serve people. And that's a privilege. Put yourself in a position of privilege. You are privileged to be able to do this. Not everybody can, but you've got to be in a place where I get to, not I have to. A lot of agents are like, oh, I got up in the morning. I hit my snooze button. Oh, wah, I don't want to work today. Ah, been there. Okay. Everybody's done it once or twice in their career, right? Where you get up and you're like, oh, here we go. Oh, no. I get to get told no all day. That's not, not, not the way to start your day. And if this is you, even once in your career, put it in the comments. Let's just admit it. Confession's good for the soul, right? Put it in the comments. Yeah, that's been me. Okay. We've got to admit it before we can take action and move forward from it. So if that's you, put it in the comments. Hope you like this video. But we've got to be in a place that we start the day with, I get to go to work today. I get to go help some people today. I get the privilege of getting beat up today and getting told to go somewhere that maybe isn't heaven, all right? These sweet people sometimes will tell you things you don't like hearing. We're here to help them. This is all about helping our prospects powerfully, but you must, and I mean must, start your mornings strong. When you open up your eyeballs, I want you to say in your mind, I get to go to work today. I get to go get on the phones today. If you're a face-to-face -face life insurance or Medicare or annuity agent, I want you to say when you wake up and open up your eyeballs, I get to go help people. Because if you want to make the wealth, I want to ask you, how do you wake up? Think about how you wake up. It matters. I promise you. You want to make more money? Well, start making your morning routine more engaging. More engaging. Yes. When you open up your eyes, are you prepared to engage? When you engage in this industry, it starts with the mind. Everybody wants to talk about just grind, 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 grind. Well, how do you get up? It makes a difference, I promise you. And I'm sorry, I'm excited for today. I've had two coffees and I'm ready to take the world myself. And this is where you've got to be prepared in the morning. I get to go to work. If people are like, that dude's too excited, good. They don't get to experience what you will. When you wake up, get pumped up. Get pumped up. Get prepared mentally before you make a single phone call. Get up, write your goals down in the morning. Go have a routine. Go brush your teeth. Go have your breakfast. Go get your espresso like I experienced this morning. Love the mighty bean. I even roast my own. I love espresso, but I'm prepared to engage. Be prepared mentally. I get to go to work today. I get 
to go to work today. Write down your goals in present tense and in future tense of what you're going to find today, and that's success. You have to see the day in a lens, in a lens, not in rose-colored glasses. Oh, everybody's just going to love me. No, it's a high rejection business. But you've got to be really ready and see this opportunity as I'm going to succeed today. I'm going to succeed today. Talk about what is going to take place as if it already will be. You must be seeing this opportunity as amazing when you wake up. Are you ready when you wake up? Mornings matter. Mornings matter. You want to make more as an insurance agent? Everybody does. Well, don't hit the income reduction button. Be prepared. Put your lunch together the night before. Yes, put your lunch together. You want to launch in this industry? You shouldn't be spending two hours at lunch. You're not going to launch into this industry when you're busy for two hours, wasting time at lunch. And I said wasting. You want to make the wealth? How do you start your morning? I get up and have espresso in the morning. I make my wife a iced mocha before I even make my own espresso. And I do this every day. The power of routines and what you put into motion in the beginning of your day is the difference between you being dominated or you being dominant. You must start your day with, ooh, I get to go to work today. I get to get on the phones. It's a privilege. I can't wait to push. I'm ready. And then when you've had your breakfast, when you've brushed your teeth, when you've taken these little stupid steps to success, success looks like a lot of boring things over and over and over and over again. That's what scripting is in the telespace. And I do recruit agents across this nation to sell life, Medicare, and annuities. In my national insurance agency, I partner with some of the most powerful agents across this nation at jasonfinalexpense.com. I'm so privileged to be able to work with some amazing, amazing agents. We do fun things together. And yes, it's painful at times, but we're powerful in our mind, in our grind. We work together. Everyone, yes, you're for yourself, but you're not by yourself. Be a beast by how you get out of bed. When you touch your feet on the floor, you've already done some things that your competitors do not. Are you ready to transact? I get feisty. I get fired up. I'm ready. And now you're going to engage. Get those wheels in motion. Have your breakfast. Be a beast. But if you want to be a beast, it starts by how you get out of bed. When you get out of bed, open up your eyes and engage with the fact that I get to go to work today. I get to be an insurance agent. I get to go knock some doors. I get to help people. I get to make their lives better than when I found them. This is important. You must make people's lives better. It's not about you making a sale. It's about you serving. By serving these great people, you'll get what you want, but you've got to serve first. Take care of them. Their needs come before yours. But when you get out of bed, you get to go guard people. When you get out of bed, you go get to get on the phones. It's a privilege, not a pain point. You want to be profitable? Quit looking at this industry like, oh, oh man, oh, I get to get on the phones today. I don't want to go on the phones. I don't want to do it. Well, I'm not saying that the first phone call isn't painful, but once you get that first little period of pain, everything else is gain. At that point, now you're getting it. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Do a little more every day. If you're brand new, that's okay. Everybody's been new once. We've got a lot of men and women that are brand new in our national agency at jasonfinalexpense.com. And you know what? The opportunity is level. Nobody gets into this industry and arrives. You're either going forward or you're going backwards. There is no reverse, but it's all based on how you get out of bed in the morning. How do you look at the opportunity? Do you get to go help people or, oh, I have to, oh, I have to, oh, wah. And I'm not saying we all don't feel that way. And you'll see from the comments if people are being, okay, real, I've been there. I've had those moments where I'm like, ouch, right? Don't hit the income reduction button. Just really dig deep. Write your goals down. Get up. Get ready. Have yourself in a place where you're prepared. I promise you'll be more profitable. I'm not saying the business is easy, but it's simple. And if you do certain things every day, it may save you a lot of distress. You may now dominate the industry because you're going to be determined to see everything as it is, success must be seen. And that's why you need to write your goals down in the morning, write them down in the evening, and really be prepared to do a whole lot of action in between. But keep your mind in a powerful, profitable place. There's going to be enough pain that will seep into you. I promise you, the longer that you've been in this industry, the more you will see jaded agents who see people as 
a sale. It is not the case. If you want to be a good agent, it's all about putting your client first. Put that prospect first. That's what will make you powerful. Get out of bed and go get to help people. Get out of bed and go. Get out of bed and be ready. Get your lunch prepared the day before because wheels are turning so that you can put things in motion, so that you can transact at higher levels. You have to get your mind right before you move. When you wake up, get your mind right. Now start moving your feet. Go have routines. Do things deliberately. That's why it's so important to have proven power scripts so you can follow these deliberate, simple steps over and over and over again. When you get objections, you should already be prepared to overcome them because that's where confidence happens. When confidence happens, now you're in a position where you can capitalize because you've seen the punch coming before the punch was placed. Be prepared to be powerful, but it starts with how you get out of bed. You want to be a beast? Get out of bed right. You want to be a beast? Write your goals down in the morning. Talk about what you're going to accomplish today in present tense, like it already is going to be. Put yourself into a position where you're going to be powerful today. There is no plan B. You're going to be an amazing agent. There is only plan A. Lean in. Lean in with all your might, all your power. You're going to attain more profitability because you did not snooze your day away. You did not let success run from you. No, you ran towards it while you were taking care of some of the most amazing, amazing men and women across this nation because they need you. They need you. Lives, yes, lives are hanging in the balance if you do a good job or you do a crappy job. And that starts because sometimes you didn't get your eye buggers off your face. You didn't do this in the morning. You didn't wake up. You stayed in bed. Beasts in this industry don't stay in bed. I got up this morning before the sun. I surprised my alarm clock and I was ready to go. And I know a lot of you are as well. If you beat your alarm clock into submission, you got up before your alarm clock today because you were excited about Monday. Put it in the comments too. Love to know who of you are beasts in this industry who get out of bed while everybody else waits for that stupid little beeper box to tell you what to do. Oh no, that little beeper box does not get to tell me when I get out of bed. Be ready. Be ready for success today. It's coming at you whether you like it or not. And for some of you that let the snooze button take you in a bad place, that snooze button will put you into a W-2. It will. Do not let that snooze button do that to you. You are now going to take control of your day. Be a dominating force for good. Be ready. Get your mind right. Now head in the right direction. You will make more today. Get more calls. Get more sits. Get yourself into an environment where you can serve these great people. This is amazing. This industry is awesome, but you've got to get up in the morning. Mornings matter. Mornings matter and mornings do matter. You want to make more? Good. Get up in the morning. You want to be prepared? You want to be more profitable? I promise you, it sets you up for the best chance of winning. And there's nothing better than winning. And there's nothing worse than hitting the income reduction button, snoozing and sleeping your opportunity away, and then being overcome at the end of the day with, oh, I would have done this. I could have done that. And I didn't. And let me share with you, those that don't are those that won't in this industry put yourself in a powerful position to make more, to do more, and be more deliberate. You'll be a dominating force for good, and your competitors, well, let them sleep in. It creates the very thing that you need, and that's great people to see, great people to serve, and the bottom line is you'll sell more. I hope this helps you. Have an amazing day. If I can serve you in any way, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. Be powerful today, my friends. I appreciate you. We'll see you soon.